All right. Welcome back to another national PSI real estate exam prep. And today let's talk about closing calculations. And more specifically, what we're going to focus on is how to use the T-bar method so that we know how to line up our numbers and to actually put them in the correct order so that we get the right answer. And so here are two questions that we think that you might see some variation of on your PSI real estate exam. The first one reads, when the owners sold their property, they paid a 6% commission. Their check after the commission was paid was $470,000. What was the selling price of the property? And so I already pre-did these, these two T-bar circles, if you will. And so this will be the first step. You create these on your exam. And so we have this $470,000. Well, that's going to be the part. And so the part goes up here. So you're going to write that $470,000. Then we have the 6% commission. Well, we're not looking to figure out what the 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 commission was, we're trying to figure out what the other 94% is, right? So we're trying to figure out what the other 94% is so that we can get the gross number. What was the selling price? And so what we're going to do is we're not going to work off of 6%. We're going to work off of 94%. So this is where our 94% goes. And what this looks like from here is that we know that everything below is, is division and everything across is multiplication. And we need to put it in the order of how it reads first. And so we would go 470,000 divided by 94%. Well, so in our calculator, right, we're going to put 470,000 divided by 0.94. Keep in mind that you're going to have to be able to convert percentages into decimals for your real estate exam. The, the calculator that you're going to be provided that's actually on the computer does not do that. So we're going to do 470,000 divided by 0.94, and that is going to give us $500,000, which would go here with the total. And so we know that the selling price for this home is $500,000. Awesome. The second one that we have is a property sold for 235000 and the selling broker's half of the commission was $8,225. What was the commission rate? And so if we're looking at this thing, the first thing that we need to do, right, we're going to take 8225 and we're going to multiply that by two because you see it's the half. All right, so we're going to go through and we're going to do that. And that's going to give us $16,450. So $16,450 is both commissions, right? So that's the $8,225 for the buy side, $8,225 for the sell side. Now what we're going to do is we are going to divide that by the sold price of the home of $235,000. And so if we're looking on this again, right? So we have our part up here and the part is actually is this commission. So the part lives up here, 8,225. Our whole is the sales price of 235,000. And so again, we're going to go through and we know that it's division because it's below. So we're going to take that uh, $6,450, because again, this is times two. So $16,450 divided by $235,000, that gives us 7%. So the commission rate on this $235,000 if we were to get both commissions in for $16,450 is a 7% commission. So this is how you would use the T-bar method to figure out the um, equations for any type of math problem where you're given two numbers. You're even given the full number, the part of a number, or the percentage or the rate. That's how you use the T-bar method to figure out closing calculations for your PSI real estate exam 
Stay tuned next week for a brand new video as we prep you to get past your real estate exam.